It's Kato. Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel. It's Kato again with another third party legend scale transformers review. Today I'm going to take a look at Magic Square's MSB16A Strongman. This is their recolor of their original Strongman, aka Huffer. If you missed out on the first release of this like I did, this is a great time to pick it up. I know the ChosenPrime.com, my channel sponsor, still has it up for pre-order. I'll have a link in the description below for that. Let's get started. To go over the packaging real quick, you've got your standard Magic Square, their little character there from that one episode where this all makes sense. Uh, Magic Square MSB16A Strongman. You've got Strongman Huffer on the side. Another pose there on that side. And... Man, it really does look good. All kind of poses there on the back and the alt mode. Inside the packaging, you get his gun, just purple plastic. It, it serves the purpose just fine. It's just solid molded purple plastic, but it looks good. And of course, you get the instructions. I'm going to go through the transformation here, but it does not take a rocket surgeon to figure this one out. That takes us right to Strongman. Uh, I'm going to call him Huffer from here on out. It, 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 he's Huffer. Uh, I've got him up on this little extra display stand here because he's a tiny guy. By the way, if you're looking for the display stand, I'll have a link in the description for that too. I got it from ages three and up. Yes, he is small. Uh, not too small though. He actually fits the bill pretty well and he looks really good. I mean, the recolor of this, I don't have the original. Uh, obviously, I missed out on that. But, man, I'm kind of glad I did because if they keep this up with this recolor uh, idea, uh, this is going to be the way to go. Yeah, you've got that nice bluish purple uh, with that darker purple on the chest. I'll bring it up closer here. Nice spot for a certain logo if you are into that or emblem or faction symbol. Orange plastic here on the bottom. It looks really good. This does not feel like their soft nylon plastic, so it, it actually feels very sturdy really really good We've got some silver there i'm going to say that's painted it looks nice and uh metallic like it's painted for the arms obviously i'm going to go through uh articulation in a bit but you can see the hands they're permanent fist head tucked away inside that canopy there look at that head sculpt with the bright blue eyes silver face with that huffer grimace and of course you've got the big cab of the truck there as a backpack that's just par for the course for Huffer. Man, he does look good. Going into articulation, you can tilt that back to move the head around. Of course, it'll move 360. You need to for transformation. Little bit of waggling up and down there, but not much. Arms will do a full 360. They'll go up about that far. You've got uh, just over 90 degrees or right at 90 degrees of elbow bend. You have... Uh, swivel at the upper elbow it's very tight and then swivel at the wrist waist rotation nice ab crunch there like that you can see that hinge there for the ab crunch you've got legs that will go out that far nothing hindering them from going all the way back or all the way up 90 degrees of knee bend and all the ankle rocker uh, you need no toe tilt though for a quick size comparison there he is beside magic squares version one of optimus prime and there he is beside magic squares bumblebee now this sizing is a little off to me i wish bumblebee were a bit larger to match up with huffer rather than huffer being smaller to match bumblebee transformation is super easy the first thing you want to do on both arms is give them a little quarter turn twist to the inside you're going to take the arms and bring them down to about right there both sides tilt this back turn the head around 180 you got the wheels here that are going to come out on a nice hinge and tab in right there and there you can go ahead and bring the cab back down now the arms you're going to continue to push those down into that position rotate them up make sure that it's straight like that and what you're going to get is that little hole is going to tab in right there just like that and you'll do the same thing to the other arm with that done you're going to give it a 180 twist at the waist coming down to the feet you want to open this up you're going to open this to about right 
there just straight out and you're going to untab here this little section right here is going to rotate around and barely miss that to sit straight there sorry about the focus this go around i don't know what's going on then you're going to get this flat like that take that around tab in right there just like that close that up and then you'll tab that all together to make it a nice solid joint do the same thing to the other leg and you're done and with that really simple transformation done you end up with huffer in his alt mode and i think he looks absolutely brilliant you've got that silver there that blue for the windshield silver for the arms or the smokestacks i think the feet the feet are a blast to transform the feet and legs and you end up with a nice looking little truck getting up close not a lot of gimmicky things here it's just a really good simple huffer alt mode the wheels look good on those pins the transformation is a blast like i said everything tucks away pretty well you do have this little spot here in the back in case you want to put the weapon in i don't think it's really for that but uh, you can put it there if you want to i wonder though and i haven't tried this yet i was hoping i could put prime's trailer on here in that little spot but the feet get in the way a little bit so that it won't sit level in there but i mean you can i suppose sit it there if you want to do that but back here there's nothing really for it to grab onto you can almost get inside that slot but no not quite for a quick size comparison there he is beside uh, magic square's original legend scale optimus prime and bumblebee in their alt modes and i think that looks really good together there you have my look at Magic Square's MSB16A, their recolor of Strongman, aka Huffer. This is a must get for mini bots. If you're a mini bot fan, Huffer fan, th this is an absolute must have. I don't have the original version, like I said, but this one doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel like the soft plastic, and the colors are great. I absolutely love this little guy uh the only thing i really wish is maybe there were some interchangeable hands for some more uh, dynamic poses rather than just a balled up fist uh, but for the most part it's really really good oh and i do wish that you could uh, just for the gimmick sake of it uh, put prime's trailer on there but i'm sure there's people out there smarter than me that can make that work guys thanks so much for hanging out with me i really do appreciate it. if you made it this far and haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button smash that like button and share this out there with your friends Till next time this is kato signing out see you around like a donut uh, punched hover in the butt